while I was filming that section there, uh, I forgot to take out the rubbish. That's my chores for today, I forgot to do it. So I've had to come back and do the rubbish, take the rubbish out. It's the only thing I have to really do in the house, man. Take the rubbish out and uh, that's the one I say, I sometimes hoover. But uh, yeah, I'm not, a, I need to start learning how to do things properly in the house, like use the washing machine and all this kind of stuff. I need to start learning how to do these things, right. Food goes in the rubbish in here. Now, I was just here last night, folks. I was just standing right in this very spot, filming the, uh, the natural phenomena. When I met uh, Moj, he came up from way over there. So uh, he lives just along the road and I've seen him walking around all the time. So it was good to eventually actually meet him and see what he's like. Nice chap, seems okay. Holy moly, man, my car is absolutely roasting. It's like a little, a little oven in here, man. It really is, goodness me, get the windows open. Oh my goodness me, get the aircon on quick. Come on, even the aircon's gonna blow out really warm. Ah, oh, it's blowing out really warm air. Here comes a bus, it's all happening, man. It's all, oh, there it goes. Oh, it's a nice breeze, lovely bus, thank you. Come on, aircon, kick in, kick in. All right, folks, yes, open the other window, come on. And let's get moving then. Well, folks, you know, just over there, the Art Road Road is closed. It is indeed closed, man, it's causing major major disruption in the city man. Yes indeed folks, the Arbroath Road there shut between uh, here and this, what they call the Scott Fife roundabout. Now it's causing major disruption in the in these in these sort of, sort of surrounding suburbs because everybody's having to go down the different road and, and the roads I normally go are kind of getting a little bit choked I must admit but it is, you can get along the road, you can get back along it but you can't come back that way so at, at tea time when it's rush hour it's just chaos man and all the other the other little roads at the side um, are just people think they can nip down and you know get away with it but um, everybody's got the same idea kind of thing you know so yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a major brouhaha happening here man in Dundee and they always seem to choose it this time the Dundee what they call the Dundee Fortnite What is he doing? What the fuck? Right folks, here we are then at the uh, the rather sad, the sad state here off the tennis courts in Dal Keith Road. They haven't been played on for about maybe a couple of years. And Bru and I used to come here, I'm sure we've played here a couple of times. Because um, you had to pay to come on here, we used to go to the free courts, but uh, as you can see, the weeds in there are massive. And there was a report in the paper just the other day saying that um, the, 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 the locals here are not happy with the, uh, the state of them. Actually, you get a better view from the, from the other side, folks. Can I get in? No. Oh, I need, can I? No. Well, I need to go down the other road. For, oh, I come to the wrong side. But there you go. You can basically see that the weeds are, are really high on this one. Right, we'll go around the other side, folks. There's the old clubhouse folks, as you can see. Right folks, as you can see then, it's just a total weed fest in these courts. Look at them, look state. The nets are down. Obviously the, uh, it's, I think it was a blaze court. These have this sort of that sand blaze stuff on it. And look, it's just, it's just turned to, to muck, really, with the rain and the, the weather. So it's a really sad state, yeah, it's a really a bit of an eyesore here. This is on the Nesbit, Nesbit, Nesbit Road, Nesbit Road side. Dalkeith Road on the other side. And these courts, there used to be a hub of activity, there used to be 50 players on here every week, seemingly. But uh, yeah, it's a bit sad to see. So I, d I really don't know what they're going to do with it, folks, but there you go. There it is, the sad tennis courts. Right, folks, some really exciting news here. We've got ourselves a new Dyson. It's one of these ones you charge up. That's a handheld thing, look. So what I'll do, folks, I'll do a full review and uh, video about this later on in the week. But uh, I can tell you, folks, 
It is a fantastic thing. It is absolutely awesome. I've hoovered the house already in about five minutes flat with this thing, man, I'll tell you. So, you get a few, a full review next week, folks. But look at this, there it is, look. Absolutely awesome. It's a little light handheld thing. And you charge it up. So, folks, there it is. How exciting is that? Look, we're already, look at that. That's already a dust we've collected in the house already. So I need to empty it. But uh, as I said, folks, stay tuned for Dyson Revio.